Right. King, have you, have you ever woke up with a roach on your face? Here. No, that's not the ghost. All right, then. Or in your ear. I don't know what you're or talking about. I got some in the neighborhood ever, with me that broke up with a roach in your ear. Y'all want to go to the band or the memo neighborhood? Do y'all want to go to the band? Do y'all want to go to the band? To make him look better, he said he know not true. Silver Spoon, I ain't never ate with that day a uh, day in my life. Nigga, hey, you did I'm have a silver spoon. Well, we used to have to come arrested. to my grandma's house, because I'm getting in the you fight. You act like a baby to go to your grandma's house. Every day. You, you to hold your Every ground. Day. Every day. Every day. Every day. I want to be outside in the neighborhood. That's why I want to be over there. No, yeah. they don't understand that. I'm going to tell you the reason why he want to be over there. Y'all ready? What, what was the reason? Because he can suck and pacify over there. He no. was 12 years old. He want to suck and pacify. He was 12 years old. He can do that in the house. He cried like a baby. Hold his mouth. They try to say I was over there trying to suck a pasty, but they ain't gonna tell you everything like that. They're they trying to hide it. Ain't nobody hide it. Hide it. He capping. He capping. Hey. He know I stand on business. He know that. Hey, no nigga ever pull my car ever in life. I stand on business. You got me somewhere, I stand on business. You got me in your hood, I stand on business. I don't feel like you stand on business. Yeah. I've been stood on business. I've been stood on business. You want to hide it for the world, I'm going to put it out there for them to see. Amen. I want to put up nowhere. You ain't had me put up nowhere. Like, I ain't, you ain't had me behind the mansion. I was outside doing what I wanted to do. What? You was behind the mansion. No, no, I no, 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 got too much to drink. I got drunk too much. Drunk too much. Let's go. Now, get mad because we stay the south in the suburbs. Then he want to talk about some other Like, this being sick. This being sick. No, I'm being real. You lying. You lying. You over here flagging. You're capping. You 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 capping. I know. I know. I know you. You capping. I know you. I know you. I know you. Shut up. Shut up. I know you. Ain't no mystery about here. I know you though. Man, I know you though. I know you though. I know you. What's wrong with y'all? Why y'all doing that to me? Y'all know me. You know I stand on business. You know I stand on business. Why you even letting somebody play with me like that? Why you letting somebody play with me like that? Why you letting him play with me like that? Why you letting him play with me like that? No, ain't no joking. Ain't no joking. What do you mean? You are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. What is you talking about? Well, you can't do nothing with me. Ain't shit you can do with me. Crazy that is that uh, you live in a gated community, but you want to be outside so bad. There's nothing wrong with you going to your grandma, or be with your grandma. Nothing wrong with you want to spend time at your grandma, but for you to claim the streets while a lot of people out there in the streets are trying to get out <laughs> of what situation they're in but you trying to go back in you're doing the reverse uno technique <laughs> like like what is going on you won first of all you fighting with your parents arguing with your parents raising your voice like that that's just insane to me to think like if i were your parents i would have put my hands on you unfortunately i would have done that like how sad it is that you see someone like that you want to be hood so bad you want to be half st street cred so bad there's nothing wrong with you being in the get it community. Most of those guys are killing just to be in there, just to get out of there. Most of those guys are fighting every day because they don't want to be there. And some of them wants to get a taste of how it is to leave the hood. Guess what? They don't want to come back. Nobody wants to come back. The ones that come back are the idiots. You know, you move out, you move your family out, you stay where you are. Look at your dad, for example. Your dad left that lifestyle, go in a gated community, raised you. Hitting me and getting in my comments, telling me what to tell King, okay? I know my son. Think I ain't spoke to my son. Think I ain't told my son, his mama, and his grandmama. His ass going to prison. If you got damn keep up, he's going to prison. 
Ain't no way around it. Ain't nothing I'm gonna be able to do about it. Can't nobody stop it but him. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I not already had that conversation with him, man. King's a good kid, chasing after the wrong. And, uh, you know, I trust in God to deal with it the way that he see fit. You know what I mean? It ain't just I. You know, he done got all the whippings. He done got the punny. He done did it. He done, you know, did everything as a child you could do to him. So now he going to he gonna have to go through it. He going to have to go through it and get through it. And ain't nothing me and mama or nobody else going to be able to say about it, man. But I'm going to love him all the way through whatever it is he going through. You know what I mean? You know, he's trying to convince himself of things, as, as we all do as young men and even young women growing up, try to convince ourselves that we are certain things. And in that journey, we find out exactly who the f*** we really is, you know what I'm saying? And it happens when we least expect it, and, and, and our lessons come from where we didn't know they were coming from. And it just ain't, ain't to do. Honestly, I agree with the dad 100%. Tia is right on this case. So he's already done everything he could. He's whooped. He's whooped him. He's grounded him. He's done everything. He's, he's just saying, you know what? I leave it up to God because whatever you're fighting right now, whatever demons you have, you're going to figure it out. You're going to, the streets will show you who you really are, whether you're about that life or you're not, which in a sense, I get it. But the, the mom, the grandma needs to stop babying him and keep you know fitting into this delusion you know that this kid is doing that's not all right that is not all right it's not a great life it's not a great road and i feel sad because you guys those the mom and the grandma needs to separate themselves let the dad handle business let the dad be dad and let him handle business but well, by the fact that the mom and the and the grandma, whoever is in is in in a circle, is feeding him words that are not well spoken for him, where it has a good intention for him. Fortunately, those are, that's the that's the company he's around, and there's not a good voice of reasoning, which is sad. But his dad said it. He's tried everything and he's done everything, so it's just living up to God or. The system. So you made it seem like we were sending you over there. No. You cried and cried and cried when you couldn't go yeah. over there. You know what I'm saying? I always say, King, stay home, stay home. Man, you would hold your no. breath, turn red in the face. Look, no. we done got big, big house. Yeah. Big yard. Yeah. Nothing to do. That when you learn and create your own entertainment. I was outside. I want to play football, basketball. Mm -hmm. That's the type of one that I was. But you, you want know? to be from the ghetto so bad. Man, it's a lot about that TV show, man, that got people confused. Because um, I live with my grandma. You know, we'll go to the house on like a weekend. They'll say, hey, we shooting today. We need y'all at the house. They'll come get me from my grandma's house. And right after we done, when them cameras go off, I'm right back to my grandma's house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And then you went to uh, this. All right, I, I get it. Like as a kid, you want to play, you want to go outside, you want to do things and hang out with friends. That's cool. But the fact that you're always staying with your grandma, meaning you like the outside, you like the things that things are going on. Your grandma allowed you to do those things and be with the wrong crowd. Whereas you said it yourself, you have a you have a large house, you have a pool. I'm pretty sure you have lots of toys and other things. Why couldn't you take some of those kids and bring them to your place and you guys hang out and do something? You play basketball around your gated neighborhood. You do all this, the fun things and fun activity. But to you, that was not fun. You want to do the other things, the street things. That's where you, that's where the excitement is for you. But in turn, it's like you, the fact that T.I. said it best, you need to be more creative with what you got there are more kids with less and are more creative with entertaining themselves than what you have you practically could have anything you want and then you're saying it's not enough you want to be outside you want to be with people you want to be with this like those people when things get worse when time when the rubber meets the road most of them ain't gonna get your back 
most of these guys are probably laughing behind your back saying oh it's just a rich pompous kid we're just using him probably getting some money from him because he's always over you know doing stuff so we let him roll with us we let him do stuff with us it's as simple as that i i don't get it i don't i honestly don't get it i'm not in the i obviously was not grow up in the privilege uh, scenario i was not grow up in the privilege uh, lifestyle at all so i don't get it i like uh, practically i came from and uh, sierra leone came here i escaped a civil war meaning like i lost everything down there and then um came back to the united states uh, mom lived in a one bedroom uh, two bedroom apartment and then we stayed there for a long time until my mom got remarried and well, eventually we moved to a nicer house and from there on i never said i'm a thug never said i want to go outside i want to be part of the streets or anything like that i unfortunately i had people in my ears but at the same time i figure out where i belong what i need to do in order to get my life straight and i didn't need those outside influence and that's how it be but i don't know understand this kid is gonna learn a lesson that he's gonna regret for the rest of his life and it might be too late he honestly might be too late and that's the sad part about it and his dad tried to warn the mother body but yeah that's gonna be the end of the video guys if you guys enjoyed this type of content subscribe greatly appreciate it peace out